Hi everybody, it's Julie, and today I have two pockets. So these are two of the required pockets that we need to make for our Dear Julie Julie March Make a Kit, Make a Journal, Junk Journal Challenge. I'll be using Dollar Tree items and some of the items that we were able to add to our kit for the March Challenge. So I have a yellowed old dictionary page here. I have the packaging from the stickers that I've been using here. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and start with the yellowed pocket. And so I want to, before I make the pocket, there is the word homestead here, and I want that um, I want that definition. Okay, so I'm just, uh, it's got a whole bunch of home and we're gonna go ahead and do that, okay? And then I'm gonna come in and we'll cut this. I'm gonna leave the jagged edge here. I am going to fold this and um, try and have it as straight as I can. We'll see. The next word on the list was homeward. Okay, and then homework. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and add some glue right along that to help hold it down. That'll help make the pocket stronger. And so I'm gonna make the pocket and we'll add it into the journal later. Um, it will get glue here, here, and here. So, um, so I have a yellowed edge, old paper. If you don't have old paper, you can um, distress. We had a couple of people that have, you know, it's an old book page, right? Yellowed edge book page pocket with tag so we're going to start with the pockets okay because i need the pockets first and i do have i do have a little house okay and i do have a tea bag okay so i have a little tea bag i'm a little tea bag no <laughs> And I have some lace. So there's my digital. There's my pocket. One, two. I think I want to do some stitching around this. And um, I think I want to add a flinch card also. Okay. Now that could, that could go in. Like boom shaka, the laka. Okay. But no matter what. Um, if I'm going to do it that way, then I'm going to want to use this one. So 29th, that's my dad's birthday, March 29th. Okay, so I have that ready. And let's go ahead. Oh, you know what? We should, oh, for our other thing... We can go ahead and wax, wax on, wax off, wax the house. Okay, so I'm gonna start down here at the bottom because it usually goes on pretty thick the first place that I put it. And I'm gonna come up and then I'm gonna come up to the, the other side. And I just like to get a little, a little of the, the shiny on here, okay? And if I can get some around the edge, that's great. But you see, we got a little bit up here. We got a little bit down here. And so they're loving that grunge, grungy, shiny, grungy look. Loving the shiny, grungy look. So I will put this in as a tuck. Then this will be able to go in here also. Okay. Um... I'm going to go ahead and take, oh, should I, should I sew this on? Yeah, I think we will. I think we'll sew this and this. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of glue on here, maybe. 
and that will just help to hold it down. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to go around this and around the outside of this with the stitching. I'll be right back. Okay, so we are stitched. We have some messy string. This is what I've got. And so now we can go ahead and glue this down. We've got some fabric tag here that we're gonna use. Take that down. I'll lay it on here. So we've got tea bag stitching. I don't think we need to um, to ink that. We've got this, and we're gonna go ahead and make it a tuck. So we're only gonna put um, put it on two sides, okay? And then this will just tuck right in there. And that is my pocket, okay? So we're gonna move on to the other pocket and then we'll make the inserts, okay? So my other pocket is the packaging pocket, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is, I need to make sure, yeah, this will fit. I am gonna cut it down a little bit. I may cut it down more, actually, because I think what I want to do here is um, we haven't pulled it out in a while, but we still have a whole lot of these. And I think this is going to make a great back for this. And um, I'm going to go ahead and turn it this way. That way I end up with the... Um, with the green part for sure on the goodie that I'm making, okay? So. Okay, so this has gotta have, it has to have a tag in it. As it's in, no, this one has, this one has an insert, right? Uh, glassine or plastic pocket with insert. So I can put anything I want as the insert in here. I'm going to start with this right here. Okay, we'll start with this. Okay. There we go. And then I think we'll go ahead and I am going to cut right here, okay? Where am I? Yeah, I am. I'm like, where am I? Yes, I am going to cut it right here. Okay. And here. Now, I would put a napkin on the other side if I had it, but I do not have a napkin <laughs> for, this, for this part of the challenge. This is for the March challenge, not for the paper teller, terrace challenge, okay? So, um, this is for the March challenge. So, let's go ahead and I do have... I do. I have a piece of this. So let's go ahead and put that down. I'm making the insert first because I want to be able, because you can see through the insert. And so I want the insert to be part of the decoration of the clear packaging page. Okay, so... We're on the other pocket. I made the pocket first. Okay. 
Now down here, I don't, something's going on down here. Oh, we buckled under. That's not good. Okay, so I'm gonna pull, pull this so that I can pull it back, okay? <sighs> okay. Okay, so using the tissue, I found I found a little bit more of this piece of the tissue. I was like, oh good. So far I did not pull out a second batch of tissue. I'm just using the one thing of tissue so far for both, both journals. I did pull out a second ribbon and a second burlap ribbon and lace. Okay, so I have, um, I have this and I think what I can do, I can add, I can add one of these or, you know what, where's my cards? Oh, this is for this. Um, okay, well, This one says place. <laughs> kind of like that. A place. Okay, so what I'm thinking here though is I'm thinking about. Now remember with the March, the Dear Julie Julie challenge, you can um, use your typed book pages. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cut that. Okay, I like that. That's got a plain page there. Save that. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and Go around that. This is one of my favorite things to do. Add something to the bottom right corner. Sometimes I do it with tickets. Sometimes with an image that I have where I need to bring in a color. Um, but I really like to add it with the words. Okay. Okay, so we've got that side and that side. We'll go ahead and turn this over. Okay. I think this would be a good one to have our antique ribbon technique. I'm gonna go ahead and do the um, tie because that is my favorite. Okay, so now you can go ahead to find your center, fold it, but I don't want to actually fold my thing. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna just hope that I'm, oh, I want to use the bigger one. Okay, so you could do the in and out, um, especially if you uh, have trouble with guiding things with your hands that's no problem you can do that I did nope that's not the right needle that's not the... they're the same they're the same needle will that fit yeah it'll fit 
I don't know where my other needle went. I still haven't found it. I hope I don't find it like with my foot or something stupid like that. Okay, so we're gonna go through. There's, um, oh, I should have measured. So usually I do one and a half times for the tie. Okay, so. So there's that, and then I'm gonna pull it back through. Okay, and I wanna make sure that when it's coming through, it's coming so that it's going to fold over that way, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and pull this one a little bit up so I can get under there and keeping it, trying to keep it straight so that it pulls. Okay, so I'm gonna pull that one down, pull this and there, okay? Then we're gonna turn this on this side. I need to turn this around because I want it to be like that when it comes, when it comes out. Okay. So. Coming out, coming out. Okay. So see there. Perfect. Okay. There's my tie. I'm a little bit long, but that's okay. Okay. So that's my antique ribbon technique there's six different ones the video for that is in the description box down down below and it i just think it's a really cool technique um let's see we are looking for our our houses okay here we go we've got this pretty pink house and um And then we have this one. I think we'll do this one. Okay. So we've added book page. We've added ribbon so far. Our base has the tissue and it is packaging. Okay, so it's packaging. Um, so if you kind of, if you had your all of your stuff from Dollar Tree out and you figured, oh, and I have this packaging that came with, yeah, with the stickers and I can use that. So that's what we're using here. I'm gonna go ahead and again, this is for the March challenge. So I get to use some other, I get to use all the things from my stash that are like tools and paints and sprays. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and add this antiquing wax that just, oh my gosh, I, I love what this does. Okay, so you can see we've got a, got a lot of it down here and that's okay. That happens sometimes, okay? And then I'm gonna put it on and it's gonna go right up under there. Okay, so, so book page, ribbon, wax, that's our three things. Now I've added my digital to the card. Okay, so we're good there. We are going to ink this because we have been inking. Oh, I want to... I do want to round the corners of the items that are going to go into the plastic. It just makes it so much easier to get them in there. And, um, you know, we've got it. So heck. Okay. So the, I'm using brushed corduroy. I, I said it before. I'll say it again right now. It is sweet. This, this paper pad is sweet, right? Or this ink pad is so perfect right now i'm waiting on an order to come and it'll have 
hopefully the um i ordered more of or i ordered a reinker for the old paper which was the ink that i started out with and then um it just it just wasn't it was dry okay so this is so let's go ahead and put a couple things away just take a minute just take a minute put things away i am so excited about coming or getting to see everybody at the get together oh my gosh i am so excited I'm trying not to be so excited when i'm at home because tom's tom's a little sad <laughs> he will miss me so okay we'll go here and i'm just i'm just separating it to make it easier to get my um my project in and out okay so i am um, you know what i was thinking about putting this in the back pocket but i think it's gonna get it might get lost um let's find the journal itself oh you know what i don't have its back i don't have so we're just gonna go for it <laughs> we're just gonna make the pocket so um i have an idea i have an idea okay so um one of my favorite things to use when you are going to be putting something onto a pocket is double-sided tape okay so we are going to double-sided tape um some things on here um okay so i'm thinking do we want to go across with it off a little bit okay so we're gonna build we're gonna build a decoration here okay so we're gonna do that i do want to add uh, some lace to it okay so we're going to turn this over add lace to the bottom of it so i've got this it's been sitting on its side so we should be able to get the glue out okay there we go we'll start at this side put it on okay there we go cut that at an angle I'll have this little piece that's okay so this will turn over now to put this on here I am going to put at it on double-sided tape I think I'm gonna use this is actually from Dollar Tree it's the Dollar Tree double-sided tape I think my other one would be too big so we're gonna go ahead and put this down come down to this end and rip it come over here and do that again okay okay so that piece is ready and then I think the other thing I want to add is a piece of this green okay and for that one I'm going to use my little bit bigger tape Okay, and let's see if we can find the straightest piece, <laughs> the straightest part of it, because I folded it up and cut it, so I think we'll go right here, okay, okay, so that's going to give me that. Now, I am going to come in here and cut it. Well, first, I'm going to cut that yucky off. That was just from my thumb, I think. From the... You can use whatever scissors I could have used. Well, I may, might have been able to use, like, my lacy scissors. I don't know. OK, 
Okay, if my paper had been bigger than, than my tape, that would have been better. But it wasn't. And um, so, okay, so we're just going to cut this. Now, do I want to put it on the bottom or on the top? Bottom. So we have tissue, ribbon, lace. And we're going to need to add our digital. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put this, I'm going to put it on the bottom after all. Okay, so the you want to make sure that your double-sided tape is um, secure to what, you're, what you have it on. And then go ahead and, let's see, line it up. Best I can. Okay. There's my pocket. Clean up the sides. Okay. There's that. And then we're going to do the same thing here. Um, but I'm going to leave this edge on because I want that to go on to whatever, wherever I put this, I want that to, to come off. So we're going to come over here and make sure that this is down real good. And we'll start with whichever one is on top. And this one is the one on top and we're on ribbon and we're on lace here. So, um, go ahead and give it a minute. Oh, see, I totally already forgot that I was. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm putting pieces back on here so they will, <laughs> they'll still be sticky when it's time, hopefully. Okay, so this goes on just like that. Look at there. Okay, so that is the decorations. Um, I did, where's the, where's the homestead one? Where do we put, <laughs> I've got so much stuff. Um, Okay, well, when I find it, that would have been that would have been cool on here for it to say homestead. I'm gonna check one more time. Checking around. Okay. Um let's see. I think if I do like a little collagey thing down here that is not a house I've got a how about we do that yeah that's what we're gonna do I do also have the rose bush tree thing that's got a birdhouse in it that might be better Cause it's got like a little, like a little birdhouse in it. Okay. We'll go ahead and go around this. Now we have fabric here that we can attach to and we're going to. Or should we, should 
you do a, a tuck. I mean, yeah, I think we will. I think we'll do a tuck. But first, we will add some antiquing to the little birdhouse here. Okay, glue, glue, glue. Let's go with this one. We'll put it on this side and up on this side. So I'll cross the bottom and up this one side. We'll put it on straight. Okay, so we're putting it on here straight. I'm going to pull it down so more of it is is on the fabric and then I'm going to take this and it's going to go right in there and so we have our glassine or plastic insert with a tag okay we've got gold on the back here I just can't Oh my gosh, and that just happened because, well, there we go. We'll, we'll add this. Okay, so we need a, this one was with an insert, so we could put anything we wanted in this one. The other one needs a tag. Okay, so. And to speed it up, I have a piece that I started and we'll just finish it. Okay, so there's that. I just pulled out some stationery that actually looked like that. It has like some rough, shiny. I should have should have pulled it out and brought it in so that I could show. Okay, um, let's go ahead and we'll go around the outside of this. What a difference it makes when you've got an ink pad that actually wants to ink. Totally, totally a game changer. Okay, so we have the place, but not the homestead. All right. Okay, well. Okay, so there's there's that one, and it is ready. And so for the tag, you remember from the pieces that were from the packaging, I have this. And so we have we have this. This is how it's going to go. 
Okay, and I think I'm gonna want to add some of the, the string because we have it here from the last thing that we, we sewed. And if I can use the stuff fast and not have it hang around for a long time, that's better. Okay, so that's gonna give me that's gonna give me that. I think we'll go with the place, even though, um, and so that that will give us that. Um, what do we have on? What is this? This is the dear Julie. This is a digital. Okay. So that will give me, like, for layering, I like that very much. Um, I'm going to use this glue. Oh, you know what? We didn't, we didn't um, take Homestead off, did we? I left it on the page. You're all telling me that, aren't you? You're like, it's on the page. It's still on the page. Okay, we're going to put this down here. So that's my digital and we'll put place up here and we'll go back to our little thing here and we have, nope, this is not the one. Is this the one? This one has... Homeland, homely, homemade, homemaker, home plate, home run, ho homestead. That actually says homestead on it. So we, we're adding our book page. think we could do oh 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 we haven't done one of these let's do one of these so this flipped over like that okay Yep, that's what we're gonna do right there. Okay, so we're gonna come in here and add glue on the inside of this. So after this, I need to make my clusters and my stack sticker. Oh, I still need to make that, um, that belly band. So. And these might get posted out of order, but um, in, as of right now, me making and filming this, that's what I have left to make for the March challenge. And then I need to make sure all my, my little goodies are full, all my pockets and, and all of the things. So this is my pocket and a tag. Okay, I want to put some glue down to hold as many of the strings as I can. Put the center down. 
and then the outside pieces okay so we have the burlap and lace messy ribbon and that and then let's go ahead and put things where they go because otherwise it's i can't even tell you how it drives me crazy oh, at some point it's like ah. okay so we're gonna go ahead and it also is stitched so remember this was made from the packaging of the tissue and i made there's four different things but this works out perfect to be the tag that i need okay so and it's on the tea dyed backing paper so it's a nice uh, weight it's not super heavy and it's not just copy paper so that is that is good okay so this is what we've got here we have our yellowed edge pocket yellowed edge book page pocket with a tag and this will go into the journal and then today we also made our glassing or packaging plastic packaging and I chose plastic packaging and I used the packaging that was inside of it for the insert and I made a file card okay so those two are ready and they'll be going into my March journal this is the March make a kit make a journal junk journal challenge we're doing it concise and at the same time as I'm making my Dollar Tree journal. And I was going to make all of these things for both, but um, that journal is so much smaller. Uh, it doesn't need, it doesn't need all these extra, these other things. So um, yeah, but there we go. Another set is finished and I can add these into, uh, into the box and we're getting closer. We're getting closer. So uh, what do I have got? I said the clusters, the um, seven stack of stickers, and I also need to make the, uh, what do we call it? Try, no, that's made. Tiered belly band with mystery. Tiered belly band with mystery. So, but we get to go down and we get to mark off um, yellowed edge book page and glassing our plastic pocket. And my inserts are also made for both of those. So that is, that is pretty cool. Oh, I don't know if this one's going to work. There we go. There we go. We're getting there. We're getting there. Find something to celebrate every day. Don't forget to check the Etsy shop. Several digitals are are on sale because of the 100-day um, project. And so the digitals that I've worked with are on sale in the Etsy shop. Have an amazing day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.